Hello and welcome to Science Never Stops. I'm your host, Joseph Vick, here in my home doing science with you in your home. Today's topic is reflection and refraction, how light works. So the first topic has to do with reflection, and I have here with me a handy-dandy mirror. And as you can see, it's reflecting what's on the tabletop, the supplies that we're working with, as well as me being reflected on your screen. Now, if you happen to have a handy mirror in your home, uh, grab one. Go to it and take a look at yourself. Mm, I look good. And take a look at yourself and notice light from whatever light above the sunshine coming through a window or a lamp hits the mirror, bounces off the mirror, and goes back to your eyes. So you see a reflection of light. So that is reflection. Also light can be bounced off of the mirror onto different surfaces. Just like I have a white piece of paper, it's maybe a little bit hard to see, but I can see looking down on that mirror a little on the tablecloth. You can also do it on the wall. So if you take the light that's coming in from any light source, the sun, the lamp, the overhead light, hitting the mirror and goes and hits the wall. See if you can do that with a handheld mirror. See what objects you can hit. If you happen to have two mirrors, you can hit light off of one mirror to another mirror to another mirror. See how long of a reflection chain you can make in your house. Now, that is the reflection of light, the bouncing of light. Just like a little rubber ball that you can have and you can throw outside and it bounce around, that's what light is doing when it hits that reflective mirror surface. The other object of topic today is refraction. Refraction happens to do with the breaking of light, where if you've ever broken a mirror, it's, they say it's bad luck, I've never broken one, but it also makes a really big mess and it's dangerous, so we're not gonna break the mirror, but that doesn't mean it's refraction, that's not breaking light. Breaking or bending light or changing the direction of where light goes once it hits something and it gets sort of trapped in something and bounces around inside something before it exits is refraction. Just like a prism. Prisms can be found at home by using a bowl of water, a multifaceted jar top, a little faceted plastic bead like this one, or even a rock. This happens to be a piece of quartz with a little faceted top. If you set these in a beam of light coming sunlight or really strong morning or afternoon light or in your window, if you set that up, angle it just right, the light will go in, get trapped through, bend, and come out broken. When you break the visible light, this represents the visible light that we see when that light comes from the sun. The sun, which is 93 million miles away, that beam of light, that photon of light leaves the sun and travels to the earth to splash in that water or hit and go inside that prism, breaking it apart and forms a rainbow, or Roy G. Biv, as we call it. Now let's say Roy G. Biv together and break them apart. The first, red. The next, orange. The next, yellow. The next, green. The next, blue the next, indigo, and violet. And those all together, broken visible light, refracted light equal Roy G. Biv. And that's what you see when the light goes through and is broken through the prism. So do that experiment. Find a prism, find a bowl of water, let light go through it, and see what rainbows you can make. 
I have set out a piece of white paper here that makes it easier to see the rainbows. But to see refraction of an object, so you get the concept, because light travel is really fast and we can't see light traveling or photons with our eyes, but we can see an object being refracted through water. So those things you need is a mug, I happen to have my coffee mug rinsed out from this morning, and either a straw or a pencil. The more brightly colored, the better, because it makes it a lot easier to see with the water. And add some water. I'm gonna add about a little ways to the top, about an inch from the top. There we go. You can automatically see refraction from the video because I can see the U.S. Space and Rocket Center logo in my, my hand there. It looks like it's mirrored or it's bending like a magnifying glass there. That is refraction of light, light going through the medium of water and it being bent. And you can see my hand looking bigger or smaller in that motion. And watch what happens when I add the pencil to the water. It looks like the pencil is bent or broken. That is because the medium of water, when the light enters, it bends the light and it appears to our eyes that that pencil is bent or broken. Now, above it, we only see the pencil in the air. So we're not having to look through or light is not having to pass through anything but air. But light is passing through the water that is in the mug, making it bend, warping that image that we see. So, let me take the pencil out and try it with the straw. Adding the straw, and you can see with the blue line and the white, it looks like it is bending the straw. All right, all that hard work. I need some water. Ah, refraction. So try those experiments at your home, in your kitchen, and see what kind of refraction images you can make. Maybe you can see the rainbow in your house and outside your window. And remember, always, always, science never stops.